Welcome to Tech Tips A320. Today we will discuss the fuel system. The A320 fuel system has four functions. The first is to supply fuel to the engines and APU. The fuel system also controls the transfer of fuel from the center to outer tanks. And lastly, to cool the IDG. The A320 has one center tank, two inner tanks and two outer tanks. The center tank has a capacity of 6,474 kg of fuel. Each inner tank can hold 5,396 kg of fuel. And each outer or wing tank can hold 680 kg of fuel. The total usable fuel in the A320 is 18,623 kg. In normal operations, each engine is supplied from its inner tank by two fuel pumps. Fuel from the center tank can be transferred to either left or right side inner tank by two transfer valves. There are two electrical transfer valves mounted on each wing to transfer fuel from outer to inner tank. They open automatically to transfer fuel from outer to inner tank when the fuel in the inner tank is less than 750 kg. Suction valve is installed on each side for gravity feeding of engines, in case the fuel pumps fail. A crossfeed valve permits one engine to be fed from both sides or both engines to be fed from one side. The wing tanks feed fuel into the engine. The tanks empty in the following sequence. Center tank, followed by wing tanks. In the newer MSN, as we know the center tank has no fuel pumps but transfer valves. These valves transfer fuel from the center to inner tanks. The fuel level sensing control unit uses a logic for this fuel transfer. When the transfer valve is open, fuel from the wing tank pumps flows through the jet pump and creates a suction in it. This suction moves the fuel from the center tank to the related wing tank. The wing tank now fills up. The FLSCU automatically closes the associated center tank transfer valve when the wing tank is full. The FLSCU then reopens the center tank transfer valve when the engines have used 250 kg wing tank fuel. The APU has its own special feed line and pump. This pump is used for starting the APU when the feed pressure is low. Some of the fuel supplied to each engine goes from the high-pressure fuel line in that engine, through the integrated drive generator, IDG, heat exchanger, where it absorbs heat, to the fuel return valve and back to the outer fuel tank. This operation ensures the IDG cooling when the oil temperature is high or when at low engine power. The FADAC controls the fuel return valve. If the outer tank is already full, the fuel overflows to the inner tank through a spill pipe. Now let us understand the fuel quantity indicator system. The FQI is a computerized system that transmits the actual total fuel mass, as well as the quantity and temperature of fuel in the tanks, to the ECAM. Two channels perform fuel computations, channel 2 activates automatically if channel 1 fails. The ECAM fuel pages shows the quantity of fuel in the center, inner, and outer tanks, as well as the total fuel on board. It shows the position of the fuel pumps and the center tank transfer valves. This is the position of the crossfeed valve in the closed position. And these are the position of the engine and APU HP valve. The FQI also controls the fueling operation. Automatic refueling starts with the outer tanks. When an outer tank is full, the fuel overflows into the inner tank through a spill pipe. If the selected fuel load exceeds the wing tank capacity, the center tank is simultaneously refueled. Refuel valves close automatically, when the tanks contain the pre-selected load, or when sensors detect a high fuel level. At nominal pressure, it takes 17 minutes to fill the wing tanks and 20 minutes to fill wing and center tanks both. The A320 aircraft is equipped with a fuel tank inerting system. The aim of this system is to reduce the flammability in the fuel tanks that have a high flammability exposure, which is the center tank. All other tanks do not need fuel tank inerting system installation. To reduce the flammability in the center tank, 
The fuel tank inerting system produces an oxygen depleted air that goes in the center tank to replace the ambient air. The system is installed in the belly fairing of the aircraft, and is composed by a conditioned service air system and an inert gas generation system. The system extracts and conditions some engine bleed air to adequate pressure and temperature and produces an oxygen depleted air with less than 12% of oxygen. It replaces the ambient air of the center tank. The fuel tank inerting system does not require any flight crew action. It works independently as soon as the engines start and until they stop. Defuel system. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by hitting the bell icon and liking this video. See you next time.